a modernized metropolis needs a modernized urban road transport network. Guangzhou City Center Transport Project has created a backbone of the road transport network in the city center, and has displayed the successful combination of the network and its speed. On the road, Guangzhou City Center Transport Project. Where is the road that leads to success? Transport is the key to a city's productivity, and a city's modernization depends on a modern transport system. Urban development strategies must include transport initiatives. Guangzhou is the southern gateway to China and the political, economic, and cultural center of Guangdong Province. It is an important port for foreign trade and a key transport hub. The city started to experience severe traffic congestion in the 1990s, along with many other cities in the region. The Guangzhou Municipal Party Committee and the Guangzhou Municipal Government sought a way forward to tackle the transport problems. In 1993, they collaborated with the World Bank on a strategic approach to addressing transport problems, starting with a proposed cooperative project, Guangzhou City Center Transport Project. The Guangzhou City Center Transport Project consists of seven components. The Inner Ring Road, Traffic Management and Safety, Public Transport Improvement, Motor Vehicle Pollution Control, Road Maintenance, Technical Assistance, the Guangfo Radio Road. The implementation of these seven project components mark the start of the journey that leads the city towards a modernized metropolis with modernized urban transport system. A road that leads to success. A high efficient institutional structure is fundamental to the success of the project implementation. In 1995, the Guangzhou municipal government set up formally the Guangzhou City Center Transport Project Leading Group, headed by the Vice Mayor in charge of coordination, organization, and implementation of the project. The project office was set up to be responsible for allocating tasks to relevant departments and for coordinating 
and implementing the project. The Guangzhou City Center Transfer Project is the first collaboration between Guangzhou Municipal Government and the World Bank for a comprehensive improvement of the urban transport conditions in Guangzhou. The Guangzhou City Center Transfer Project is the first collaboration between Guangzhou Municipal Government and the World Bank for a comprehensive improvement of the urban transport conditions in Guangzhou. The total investment of the project is 8.9 billion RMB, of which the World Bank loan is 180 million US dollars. The six original components and one newly added component reflect an innovative comprehensive approach to urban transport. The Inner Ring Road This major component aimed to divert traffic away from the city center and strengthen traffic connections with surrounding districts. Its construction helped to develop a functional road hierarchy for the city. The main function of the Inner Ring Road is as an urban expressway, providing high-speed through traffic. The new road is 26.7 kilometers long with a dual three-lane cross-section comprising a 20.3-kilometer viaduct and 3-kilometer of ground-level roads. It opened to traffic on January 2000. Traffic Management Safety this component was designed to maximize the effective utilization of the existing road networks and to improve road user behavior. It consisted of the SCATS Area Traffic Control Coordinated Signal System, CCTV monitoring cameras to reduce traffic violations, variable message signs including parking guidance, traffic facilities including signs and road markings, and physical junction channelization. The road user education included enforcement campaigns, road user education programs, and road safety initiatives. Public Transport Improvement This component comprised three main items. The automatic bus monitoring and dispatching system introduced GPS technology for real-time monitoring, tracking, and tracing of buses. This was complemented by an electronic bus information system at bus stops for waiting passengers, the first in China and part of the National Intelligent Transport System Initiative. The Longxi Bus Depot provided parking and maintenance services for buses and its operation pioneered new management techniques. Finally, environmentally friendly buses were procured. Motor Vehicle Pollution Control This component aimed to improve the environment by controlling motor vehicle emissions. Key elements were the expansion and improvement of the existing automatic air quality monitoring system and the noise monitoring system to carry out real-time monitoring on primary roads in the city center. Road Maintenance This component comprised two major items. Firstly, software provided under the pavement and bridge facility management system assists road managers to use urban infrastructure maintenance funds more efficiently, to collect data more systematically, and to provide scientific evidence for decision-making more precisely. Secondly, state-of-the-art road maintenance equipment was procured to help improve the working efficiency. Technical Assistance Through overseas and domestic training, the technical assistance component aimed to improve the technical capabilities and management level of project staff and personnel from relevant government departments and technical institutions and ensure a sustainable development of the city's urban transport system. Guangfo Radio Road Guangfo Radio Road was a newly added component. The route goes westward and is one of the seven links radiating from the inner ring road. 
It is a key part of Guangzhou's expressway network, directly connecting with the Zhongshan Balu interchange on the Inner Ring Road and linking with the Outer Ring Expressway in the west. The inclusion of Guangfu Radio Road in the project has improved the traffic capacity of Guangzhou's western routes, alleviated serious traffic congestion, and promoted the balanced development of the surrounding areas. It opened to traffic on February 2005. A Road of Humanity Inner Ring Road Construction The resettlement for the Inner Ring Road Construction set a new record for the largest demolished area, the largest number of relocated households and work units, the fastest resettlement speed, and the least number of complaints at the time. The resettlement facilitated the optimization of the urban spatial arrangement for a better urban spatial vision through the reconstruction of the old city area and the development of the new city area. To ensure a successful resettlement, large-scale resettlement communities such as Bayuin Garden were constructed and public facilities such as public transport, schools, banks, and department stores were provided. Concerted efforts were made to resolve any unemployment of relocated citizens to ensure that they could continue to live and work in peace and contentment and to ensure that the living standard of the project affected people could be maintained at the original or a higher level. The manner of resettlement for the inner ring row construction has been introduced by the World Bank to other projects as a successful example. The engineering of the inner ring road pioneered new management techniques which enabled complex construction to take place in such a densely populated urban area. Utilizing modern international working practices, smoothly resolving difficult issues, managing construction in the context of the whole network plan, and implementing incentive and cost control systems. The construction timescale of the Inner Ring Road was constantly reviewed by the municipal government. Concurrent construction of all sections of the Inner Ring Road commenced in April 1999 and the road was opened to traffic on 28th of January 2000. This created the well-known Spirit of the Inner Ring Road. Aiming at the special geographic location and limited space in the city centre, a number of domestically and internationally advanced technologies were adopted for the inner ring road construction to ensure a quality completion of the project. Provision of the inner ring road has notably improved the urban transport conditions in Guangzhou. Its seven radio roads directly connect to the outer ring expressway a functional road hierarchy has been established, comprising the expressway network, the primary road network, and the secondary road network. A Road of Innovation A key element of the project has been innovation. Innovation in ideas. Modernized international management concepts was introduced during the project implementation to change the previous concept of regarding construction as more important to management and to explore the development approach based on people first. A three-level working mechanism was established for the project implementation. Leading Group's Regular Meetings Regular meetings were convened by the leading group with all agencies responsible for implementation to ensure interagency communication and cooperation. Day-to-day -day coordination. 
The project office coordinated the planning and implementation of project components with the professional agencies responsible for each component. Each individual agency was responsible for engineering requirements, quality control, supervision and acceptance of final measures implemented. The project office oversaw the whole process and ensured that a balance was achieved between all components and that regular joint meetings with all agencies were convened. World Bank Supervision Regular World Bank missions visited Guangzhou to supervise and guide the project. These were usually quarterly to tie in with the quarterly progress reports submitted by the project office to the World Bank, but also occurred at critical stages in project implementation. Innovation in Management Competitive Bidding Even before the issuing of the state bidding law, the project office took the lead in carrying out open bidding procedures according to the World Bank procurement requirements and thus ensured the bidding principles of openness, fairness and justness. The bidding management for the project has laid a solid foundation for the Guangzhou municipal government to formulate procurement regulations and establish a bidding center. It also combined international practice with the Chinese situation. Control of Funds Overall control of funds was based on investment estimation as the measurement standard. The situation before project implementation and existing construction conditions were carefully studied at the project feasibility study stage so as to ensure that the project design was thorough enough for accurate cost estimates. Issues such as design variations, formal site approval on variation orders and possible excess of the estimated cost over the contract price were taken as key elements to be monitored during project management. Meanwhile, attention was not only paid to the control of the construction and installation investments but also to the control of the deferred investment and other investments. The use of project funds was strictly controlled and audited. Comprehensive Transport Management The project office has established a highly efficient and international-oriented project management system based on a better understanding of the planning, investment, implementation and management needs of government invested projects. It has taken the lead in successfully establishing a comprehensive transport management system to enable government to mobilize relevant departments and to avoid fragmentation and duplication in transport construction management. Innovation in Technology There were three innovative software systems in the project. The automatic bus monitoring and dispatching system established a monitoring and dispatching platform for public transport and bus companies in Guangzhou. More than 1,400 buses were equipped with the in-vehicle terminals to carry out real-time monitoring, tracing, and dispatching through a unified information platform. And over 300 electronic information signs were installed at bus stops to provide passengers with bus service information. The pavement and bridge facility management system would enable staff to collect a range of road and bridge data and to better allocate maintenance resources. It would also help to improve the management efficiency and level and provide basis for scientific decision making. The inner ring road traffic control and surveillance system uses a two-level computer control and surveillance system. It enables traffic congestion on the inner ring road to be minimized during peak hours and ensures a rapid response to accidents and incidents. Complete database will be established and a three-level monitoring system will be eventually formed for all of Guangzhou's expressways. A Road of Harmony The implementation of the project has thoroughly reflected the harmony with the environment, the people's safety, and the civil society. Minimizing Noise Pollution During the construction of the Inner Ring Road, great importance was attached to environmental protection, and a series of measures were taken to mitigate noise pollution, including the selection of road alignment and the pavement materials. 
the use of shock absorption techniques, and the installation of noise insulation measures and equipment. Along the inner ring road alignment, noise barriers and double glazed windows were installed in sensitive areas, and a protection wall and green belt were built beside the zoo. Safety during project implementation. During the implementation, government quality supervision departments and agencies were entrusted to perform the construction supervision, and a strict quality control and safety assurance system was established to carry out the whole process of quality and safety management. On the inner ring road construction sites, along the 26.7 kilometer elevated alignment, there were more than 30,000 construction staff working day and night with no fatal accidents. In the traffic management and road safety component, road sections and junctions were reconstructed and improved. Traffic signals and pedestrian crossings were renewed and improved. Special access facilities for disabled people were constructed and bleepers installed for the blind. A three-level traffic control system was established with a central traffic command center and five sub-centers to realize efficient traffic control and to provide a safe and effective transport system. According to statistics, the number of road traffic accidents and the amount of related economic loss in the year 2000 reduced by 11.1% and 16.5% respectively. Enriching Civil Society The application of the bus dispatching system has greatly improved public transportation and is expected to encourage residents to use more buses, supporting a green transport agenda for the city. The traffic management and road safety component has reduced pedestrian jaywalking and traffic violations through the provision of convenient facilities. The road user education subcomponent has improved road user behavior through a range of initiatives using TV programs, newspapers, and road safety education in schools. Hills become greener, water and sky become bluer. Guangzhou has won the titles of Nations in Bloom and United Nations Award for Best Practices to Improve the Living Environment. A modern coastal metropolis is standing on the shores of the South China Sea. A Road of Development the nearly 10-year implementation of the project has reflected the painstaking efforts of the city and has brought substantial economic and social benefit to the city. The implementation of the project has helped to establish a complete road functional hierarchy, rationalize the road network structure and notably improve the road traffic facilities in the city. It has also improved the service level of the urban transport system reduced air pollution and traffic-related accidents and improved the effectiveness of the road maintenance work. The project has been a rewarding cooperation between the Guangzhou Municipal Government and the World Bank. The World Bank's management experience has played a beneficial role in guiding Guangzhou's urban transport construction and management. The concept of people first has instilled a vitality in the city and facilitated the reform of Guangzhou's urban development and management, improved urban transport construction management, and enabled local urban transport techniques to achieve international standards. The World Bank once noted that the Guangzhou city center transport project is a model of the World Bank finance projects in developing countries. During the implementation of the technical assistance component, 
well-known international and domestic specialists were retained as consultants on the project. Study tours and training, both overseas and at home, were arranged for staff. These have enhanced the technical and management capability of the staff and have resulted in the establishment of a high-level team experienced in modern urban transport management. Through the collaboration with the World Bank, the project office has developed its capacity and skills during project implementation. The implementation of the project using international practices to international standards have built an international platform for the project office. The spirit of the inner ring road, meeting challenges, understanding needs, enabling high speeds, demonstrating high quality is at the heart of the project office. The project office has progressed from managing a single city center transfer project to managing multi-agency, multiple projects on a regular basis. The project office has benefited from this opportunity and has gained valuable international experience in cooperation with the World Bank, which will enable it to contribute even more in Guangzhou's journey towards a modern international metropolis. We are on the road.